What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> I uh, I don't have the energy for my um, Jesus, my I don't have the the energy for my normal intro. Um, cause. This is a normal content, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get myself together. Um, <clears throat> basically, today we're gonna talk about the um, the brutality in the streets. Man. We're gonna do our best to raise awareness. Um, about everything that's going on in the streets of America, um, r racism still exists, and uh, the names on the screen that you're, that you're seeing right now, these are um, notable names. There's no way that these are all the names. These are the notable names. Uh, that have been killed by means of police brutality. And um, 99% of, of instances where the police kill someone, there are no charges filed against them. Since 2013, on average, the police kill about three people a day. Um, no, all of them are not broadcasted. No, all of them don't make national headlines. Um, no, all the time the cameras ain't on. So, I need y'all to know that when the police kill someone and there's no footage... Even if there is footage, but the footage never gets leaked, bro, that cop is walking. And that's not fair. How can you murder someone with a knee to, to their back for eight minutes and then take someone's life while they're crying for their mom? I was, <clears throat> I was more than happy to be like, man, it's so much crazy stuff going on. I don't want to talk about it on the channel. People ask me all the time, yo, D, how do you feel about what's going on in Minnesota and what's been going on? And I just don't comment on it. Um, the reason that I don't comment on it is because I've been not personally afflicted, but I personally know what it feels like. Like, I personally know what it feels like to have the police take someone away that you love. Um, which, what you're going to hear right now, uh, this is... Hold on, wait, let me just... What, what what we're going to be um, talking about here, hang on one second, let me just pause this for y'all so I can fill you up to speed just a little bit. The voice that you heard at the beginning of this video, that was a very close friend of mine. His name is Kylan English. Um, he was killed by the police in um, 2011. Uh, July of 2011, and um, they passed brutally murdering him. They threw him off of a bridge, and they said that he jumped off of a bridge. This dude had the voice of an angel. 
Like, this dude was for sure 100% going to get signed. There were already there were already deals in the works. Kylan and my boy Sheldon were were both literally about to be up. And at that time, all my homies and my brothers and my best friends, they all made music. I didn't, you know, rap at the time, but you know, that they, they, they all made music and we all kicked it every day. We went to parties every weekend. They were at our house on the weekend, sometimes after the parties, like these are my homies, like, like, and, and I'm still cool with every single last one of my friends from back then, um, you know, but the police took away Kylan from us. They, they passed it off that he committed suicide, that he, that he was in a, because he was in police custody. Um, they passed it off that he definite promising singer was in, in custody and broke out of a police car while he's handcuffed head butted a police window while the car was moving jumped out of the car while there was supposedly glass shards all over it jumped out of the car out of a police car window with his hands cuffed jumped out of a police car and jumped off of a bridge with the voice of an angel and a son in this world, this dude loved himself. He loved his friends. He loved his community. He loved his life. And this, this is, he was taken from us. And his case, his, 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 his case, they, they, they said there wasn't sufficient enough evidence to disprove what the police said. We did all we could in my city. We marched, we rallied, everything was peaceful protest. We did everything peaceful. But someone that y'all would have been hearing on the radio, his life was taken by the police. This is just my personal experience with it. Rest in peace, Kylan. And you know, because Kylan's name, it's it's not it's not on all these you know, it's not on all these names, with all these lists, with all these people that were unfortunately taken away by the police. You know, George Floyd, Kendra James, Jane Perez, um, Trayvon Martin, you know, um, oh my, like, they're just... It's just, it's, it's just, it just hurts. And listen, man. Black Lives Matter. What that means is our people are being killed in the streets. Black Lives Matter is us telling y'all that our lives matter too. We're not saying your lives don't matter. Every life is precious. Everyone. Everyone can make an impression in the world. Everyone, every person, every life is precious, but not, and in and, and some eyes, not all lives are made equal because discrimination exists and it happens every day and gruesome things happen and it's so unfair because it's so far like out of like an individual's control. All I can do is, is do my best to raise awareness, you know? Um, and I have the links of everything in the description, where the music is from, if you want to hear some of Kylan's music. Um, and I have some more information I'm going to present to you guys at the end of the video. But um, it's not right, man. And saying all lives matter as protest to black lives matter, that shit is selfish, bro. That's like, if you see... Uh, if you see a fire department, a fire truck on the way to stop a burning, uh, uh, a burning house, you gonna, are you going to stop the firefighter and say, hey, what about my house? Is your house burning, ma'am? No, but it matters. Of course it matters. No one said it didn't matter. But is your house burning right now? Are your people being shot in the streets on live video? 
for that shit to be played over and over and over? No, man. And thank every person that's that's not black that that stands up and that did anything that you can do to to raise awareness because you know it's not easy because and and you know um not all cops are bad bro but like if if you got 10 bad cops out of 100 and you and you got 90 cops that are watching these cops kill people and maim people and do brut brutalities and break the law and they don't tell or they don't do something then they're just as bad I, I, I don't believe at all that, that, you know, every cop is bad. And I feel, I honestly feel bad for the good cops because they're just being lumped in. But when we as a black community have witnessed person after person after person get killed in front of our faces and then it may be made light of, it's just not cool, you guys. It's less than not cool. And I had a lot of other videos that I wanted to do today, but I'm not doing none of them. This is the only video that I'm doing today. I'm not I'm not doing anything else. This is it for today, okay? So I just want to say, man, rest in peace to everyone that, you know, was 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 taken from us and um uh my condolences to everyone's family because it's extremely hard to go through, okay? There are some things that you can do to become an ally of the cause. And um, I'm going to have this linked in the description as well. But, man, you guys, these really are some very, very crazy times. And um, I, I thank everybody who's with me. I thank everyone for their support. You know, um, it's a very tough time, you guys. Um, I really didn't. Everyone deals with things differently. I don't condone rioting and I don't condone the violence. But when we've done peace we can't even peacefully protest we get mace we get beat we get tear gassed at a peaceful protest and don't you ever come talking to me or somebody else on a post talking about what about martin luther king he said support peaceful protests y'all killed him too y'all killed martin luther king jr too So guys, and thank um, Alana uh, Austin for, for this amazing post. Funders for Justice, um, I'm going to have make sure that they're linked in the description as well. This is one of the best places to go to support the black cause and to help raise awareness. Guys, um... I was perfectly fine with my channel being a place to just go and to escape and to just not have to deal with it. But um, I know all too well what it's like for someone to be taken from you and then no, there's no consequences. It makes you get this heat, this anger inside of you and you want to riot. You want to do like because you don't know what else to do to be heard. So, so shout out to everybody that's, you know, doing what they can to raise awareness, whether you're protesting, whether you're at the rallies, whether, you know, you're posting about it on social media. Shout out to everyone, man, who's been a word to the cause. And, um, you know, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Uh, the last thing that uh, I have for you guys is um, we're going to just go ahead and end the video. Like I said, um, I like I said, if you guys check out the links in the description, there are some very, 
some some very good sources of information that show you some shocking things but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um, with just a moment or so of silence um, and uh, I'll just I'll just show the faces and the names of some of the major cases and if you know anyone else that was you know uh, afflicted by police brutality please uh, let the name be heard in the comment section and um, I definitely want to thank everybody for watching this video it's much different content than you know my normal stuff but uh, you know there's there's really there's there's really no substitute for when when things like this happen in the world there's there's nothing that one person can do so all I'm gonna do is uh, raise the awareness that I can so, all right, you guys, until next time, man, I love you guys. Stay strong for the cause, man, my black people. I love y'all.